So, this is more of an update than anything of what is going to be occurring over the next few months. As we all know, winter is coming. So things are going to start getting a little bit colder, a little bit more miserable working in here. Cost of living prices, fuel prices going up means I'm quite reluctant to have the electric heat running in here because that's like two kilowatt. So that costs a few quid to run. We will see how that goes. Obviously funds are going to get a little bit tighter for doing what I want. So what we got going on? Well, working on the chop today, the Bonnie chop. Got a couple of dodgy oil seals, I think. So we'll get those sorted out. There's a few other little bits and pieces I want to do. And obviously I want to get a few things fettled on this over winter. Get ready for summer. <laughs> get interrupted already. Uh, yeah, oil pressure warning light on this. It looks a bit crap. It works, but I want something a little bit better looking on the back. Which also ties into the wiring on this bike. It was 2018 when I finally got a belt and in a rush to get her on the road I just lashed together the wiring which is what I want to sort out and actually do a decent wiring job on the front end put some new controls on the handlebars so they're a bit prettier get rid of some of the wiring on the bars just clean them up a little bit Obviously, uh, I think that's about it on that. Yeah, not too much on this. Uh, the standard bonnie is going to need a bit of work doing on it. Um, stick some photographs up again. The steering stop is a bit mullered, so I need to sort that out because the um, handlebar yokes actually clash with the tank, which has got a shit paint job on it. So I want to repaint that. And I won't be repainting until the summer. Obviously because of heating and damp and everything, so probably about March, April time I'll get that done. Um, I need a hammer, I'm a hammer hammer. The seat's getting a little bit tired on it. So that needs redoing, but I will send that off to my mate Rabbit, who's doing two of my jobs, which was the Bantam and the chop seat on this one, which looks very good. I also want to do the external oil filter modification, so we get a decent paper filter on there, rather than the crappy sieve system that's on it. That little screen, because they are pretty shite. And I really want to do a twin disc modification, but that's if funds allow. I've got the screws out, haven't I? Why are you not budging? Come on. Why are you not shifting? What is occurring here? I'm gonna screw out of there, will I? Come on. You know you want to. There we go. It's going slowly. Beauty. Can you get them out of there? Yep. Yeah. Covered in oil. Typical triumph. Right here. Yeah. Don't know how well that'll show up on there, but that seal hasn't seated properly. Pushed in a little bit. Clag in there, don't want that. Is. Oh, it's just clag, nothing too serious. So we'll get them swapped out. Get the gasket off. Scraper. Oh. Where was I? Uh, 
yeah. So I'll have to think of a paint job for that one. Something pretty. I don't know yet. I've got a few months to decide. Um, right, the GS pretty much sorted now that bike I'm gonna do some new top pegs for it I can machine something up I actually think I've got an old set of highway pegs I can modify to fit those and they can look a little bit better They're not too bad for short trips but long trips you can start to feel them a bit through your boots Well-fitted gasket. And we put that one on. Oh yes, that was me. Uh, the bantam. Yeah, the bantam's a bantam. And that does bantam things. And yes, you're running lovely now. So we will leave that as it is. Uh, other bits and pieces wise, I've got an old power hacksaw that I want to refurbish. That's about 60 years old now. Got a few problems with it. I think the motor's on its way out because it's drawn a little bit too much current and the overload's set a bit high. Uh, it's got a cracked leg on it which needs brazing up. Uh, needs a complete strip down and refurbished to be honest with you, so that'll keep me occupied for a while. On the lathe, uh, one of the oilers is playing up. So my, anybody that knows about a my for the lathe, you've got little oilers on, keep the spindle lubricated. It's either on or it's off. Uh, it just pisses oil out or doesn't do anything. I need to sort that one out. And I've also got a new three-phase motor to put on it with a, um, a VFD because the motor's getting tired. You know, that's probably 60, 70 years old now. It's getting towards end of life. So yeah, we've got little bits and pieces to be going on there. What the hell is that? There's a lot of wear on the end of that shaft there. Not on the shaft itself, but on the... Gearing. Ooh, I'll have to look into that. What's occurring there? Somebody's had a go at that crank as well with a hammer. Wasn't it me? So we'll get on and get those swapped out, and I'll also chase out the threads on that as well. Give me a fighting chance of getting everything back in. So, new seals in. I'll stick a picture up of how bad they were. Mullard. There we go. Get all this clamp down. Just those screws everywhere. I want to move this speedo as well it, because there's no tackle on this bike because somebody blanked off the drive on the engine I want to actually try and move it probably somewhere down onto the frame there out of the way where I can still see it so it's probably going to end up probably about here near the exhaust but we'll see how that goes and also for my stock bonnet I want to try and make one of these um, oiler pipe things for the rocker shafts Something a bit prettier than the standard ones because the standard ones are just plain ugly. So we won't be starting up today and doing the timing because the battery's flat and it's a lithium ion and I haven't got a charger for it. So I'm going to have to sort something out for that. What a day! Oh, this got nice and warm, giving it a good kick. So that's where we stand at the moment. As you can see, there's quite a bit coming up. Just chip away at little things, little jobs to do, get things sorted out, ready for the next summer's fun and frolics, ragging around the country on motorbikes. Thanks for watching.